reflection of a committee on committee reports. Look at 2004 when the folks on this side had 24 senators and the folks on the other side had 16 senators. And I would remind you that if we read the rule, which Senator Andrews always reminded me to do, starting in January of 1992 in that corner where the junior senator from Virginia Beach now sits, Tommy, read the rules. Actually, there is some reference in the rules to proportionality. And I suggest to you that the proportionality in this Committee on Committee reports is upside down by six or seven positions. I ask you to contrast that with 2004, when we were at 24, where the Committee on Committees report was two-thirds of one position, two-thirds of one position that the Republicans took on the Committee on Committee reports, and that was done only because we didn't know how to split one committee seat, so we took .6667 of one position, and that was as close to proportionality as we could achieve. I am positively disappointed, but I have no choice, just as my friends on the other side of the aisle have had no choice in the past but to accept the rule of 21 in this body. And while out of pragmatism, I must accept it. It doesn't mean that I have completely absorbed it. It doesn't mean that I have completely digested it. And it doesn't mean that it will quickly vaporize from my memory. So I say to all here, we know this Committee on Committee reports will be adopted, but I suggest to you seizing six seats, disenfranchising from the Senate Finance Committee for the first time in the modern history of Virginia, the largest city in Virginia, is just not right. But right doesn't always make good politics. So I suggest to you that while I am positively disappointed and I will accept it, it does seem a little counterintuitive to me to reach out and say, let's embrace on a bipartisan basis where we're going this year. And by the way, we're going to purloin six positions. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator. Senator from Harrisonburg, Senator Obenshane. Mr. President, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the Senate, first of all, I, I haven't been around here long enough to, uh, speaking of the measure, Mr. President, uh, I haven't been around here long enough to be able to cite a uh, great deal of history. Uh, Senator Norman, uh, Senator from James City County, recites uh, what happened in 2004, and I was a baby senator at that point in time, and I, I will recount uh, something that uh, the outside world probably didn't see, and uh, certainly the members on the other side of the aisle didn't see. I remember walking into my very first caucus meeting, and uh, I remember seeing one particularly genial, or so I thought, genial member of our uh, caucus who I'd never heard utter a cross word, uh, literally with veins bulging, red face, banging on the table. Uh, excoriating members of our leadership for the committee composition as it had been put together, criticizing them for not seizing significant minor majorities on some of the most powerful committees in the Senate. That member had no mercy. And I suppose that some of our, my colleagues who were responsible for putting together that uh, report felt pretty darn uncomfortable and probably feel, still feel a little bit of that sting, and particularly so today. I would point out that the response that they received, or that that member received, was you have to understand that these are the traditions of the Senate. These are the traditions that we were taught. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, members of the Senate, I really 
I really had not intended on speaking today. When I was sitting over in seat number 40, and there were 30 Democrats in the body and 10 Republicans, oh, do I remember the phrase that the senator from Spotsylvania just cited as nearly as practicable. There were a total of one member from my party sitting on the Senate Finance Committee. Then we hit new ground, and guess what? Guess how many members the, uh, the Democrats put on, on the Senate Finance Committee that year? We had a whopping high water mark of three. And Mr. President, that rule has been around for some time, and it's been used from time to time to the advantage, and pretty well to the advantage of the majority party. I would say today is more like the locusts coming every four years, except this year it came just a touch early when we had to break committee assignments. My point, Mr. President, would be this. We are here to do the people of Virginia's job. And the first matter that we take up in a contested vote has to do with the dilution of the minority party's representation on one of the very important committees of this body, that being Senate Finance. The memory of some on this floor today is a bit clouded and is a bit short because when I authored the Committee on Committee report several years ago and for a period of time, I would always present my report to the minority party. I would say, these are the vacancies that we have. Could you please get to me and tell me those members that you would like to see placed on those? And we would find a way to try and balance as best we could, albeit in some years it was not exactly uh, even as the senior senator from Fairfax indicated. But what some of the members from the majority didn't tell you today is they were hoping that some of their members perhaps would not go on the committee of that choice on that given day. The rule of as nearly as practicable is used many different ways, Mr. President. So I would say this, and I'm glad the president of the pro tem, chairman of the Senate Finance Committee is back in his seat because my comments are very simple. We are here to do the people's work. Diluting one party's position on any committee is not in what, in my mind, is what in the best interest for the people of Virginia. So we'll get through this report today. We will move on. But I hope that the majority will work with the minority in a manner that is fitting of this body and that we can do the people's business in a timely manner, adjourn, and go home. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Senator. Senator from Chesterfield, Senator Martin.